this video we're going to look at uh, complementary and supplementary angles and the the complementary angles are angles that add up to 90 degrees so they add up to 90 degrees and what you can look for here are angles that, that add up um, in an L shape so angle 1 by itself right that's 90 degrees but if you take if you take this and another angle or some other combination and you get to 90 well then those two angles are are complementary so this one's not as easy to see right the complementary angles because usually what I'm looking for is maybe some kind of shape like this and then right, some split so I would know that angle 1 and 2 somehow add to 90 degrees this right angle here and I would say well okay angle 1 and 2 are complementary here we're going to look at this line to help us see what's going on you have to remember that in a line, the angle measures 180 degrees. So here, the angle measure from here, all the way here, is 180 degrees. And we already know that angle 1 is 90 of that. So what's left over? Well, 180 degrees minus 90, this chunk in here, gives us what's left, which is another 90 degrees, right? 180 degrees, this total straight angle, minus angle 1, which is 90, gives us 90 degrees which means 5 and 2 have to add up to 90 and those two are complementary um, are there other combinations yes well if we look at and this I think is also along the same line if we follow this red well actually it's on a different line but I'm saying the same line of reasoning this red line right here it's made up of well angle 1 which we already know is 90 degrees and then therefore this angle right here has to be another 90 degrees because again every straight line has 180 degrees altogether so if you had 180 degrees on this whole angle and angle 1 alone is half of that so 2 and 3 have to add up to make the other 90 degrees so the answer here is G so 2 and 3 are complementary because they have to add up to 90 degrees now in this we're looking for the same idea, I mean the same type of problem where we're finding two angles that add up to 90 degrees and we call them complementary. So what's happening here is that um, this angle right here has to be 70 degrees because on this straight line right, we already know that this part is 110 degrees well the whole angle right here has to be 180 so that's a 70 degree angle and then we've got these two angles to figure out over here and each one is just the third angle of a triangle this angle call it one is the third angle of this red triangle and then we'll just use different color here this angle we'll call it two is an angle of this blue triangle right here and remember that every triangle has to add up to 180 so here, these two angles, 110 and 35, is 145. So this angle over here has to be how much? Well, we have to go all the way up to 180 to add up here, and that's going to be 35 degrees. What about angle 1? Well, using a similar principle, we already have 70 and 55 degrees, which is 100 and what? 125 degrees. So angle 1 needs to be what? Well, what's 180, the total degree measurement of this triangle, minus what we already have, which is 125. I'm getting 55 degrees. And now look at our combinations. Which one of these will add up to 90? Well, these two angles add up to 90. Let's see if that's an option. B, A, C, so that's B, A, C, that's this little angle right here, and C, A, D, C, a D C A D that's this blue angle right here and yes 55 and 35 that's 90 degrees it's choice A is the complementary pair okay and the diagram below line R and, and line T are parallel line P is a transversal I mean it's, it's a line P it cuts these two parallel lines right so that's called a transversal which angles are supplementary? So supplementary means that the angles add up to 180 degrees. 
to 180 degrees. So by looking at this right here, we want to know well, what, what angles add up to 180. They give us 1 and 3 as the first choice. Here's 1, 3. Well, unless they're both right angles, uh, it's not going to add up to 180, and it certainly doesn't look like that's the case right here. So A is out. B, angle 1 and 2. Well, 1 and 2 rest along line R. So if you add them up, you would get the full angle measurement of that line, which is 180 degrees. And that's what we're looking for. So, so far, it looks like I'm going to choose choice B. But let's look at C and then D. C says angle 3 and 6. 3 and 6. Well, uh, we can talk more about what these the relationship is between all these types of angles. But right here, these certainly don't add up to 90 degrees, to 180 degrees. And then 3 and 4. Well, 3 and 4 are also equal. And we'll talk about that in other videos. Right here is 4, here's 3. And they don't look like 90 degree angles. If they were, they would be supplementary because they'd add up to 180. But we're not sure. But we are sure that 1 and 2 have to add up to 180 degrees, and therefore we call them supplementary. Okay, in the diagram below, which pair of angles is complementary? So again, uh, we will go for t look for two angles that add up to 90 degrees. This angle right here, all right, that's a 90 degree angle. You can tell because this shape right here. And here we have a line going along. So again, in, in a line, th that angle measure is a half of a circle. It's 180 degrees. So if this part of that, that full 180 degrees is 90 degrees, angle 1 and 2 have to add up to the other 90 degrees to complete the angle measure. So here A is my choice. Angles 1 and 2 are, are complementary. Let's say 2 and two and 3. Well, 2 and 3 are supplementary, right? Because they are the two angles that make up this line right here. 2 and 4 are, are equal angles. They're vertical angles. And what's the other choice? 3 and 4. 3 and 4, again, along this line right here, they have to add up to 180, so they're supplementary. But we're looking for complementary angles, in other words, angles that add up to 90 degrees. Okay, in the diagram below, lines A and B are parallel. Which angle is supplementary to angle 2? Here's angle 2. So if I add another angle to angle 2, which one would I add to get 180 degrees? They first give us 3 as an option. That seems very reasonable because here, this line, right, angles 2 and 3 make that full 180 degree angle on the line. So that looks like a good candidate. Um, here, it gives angle 4. Angle 4 is a vertical angle at 2, and they might be equal, uh, but I, I don't think that they're supplementary. Right? That wouldn't even make sense. I'll, I'll leave you to reason that one out. And then angle f angle 5 with angle 2. Um, no, they're not, they're not going to add up to 180 degrees, I don't think. And angle 7. Well, again, in other videos, we'll go into details of what all these angles mean, but you should be able to recognize that only 2 and 3 clearly form this straight line and therefore add to 180 degrees, which means that they're supplementary. Okay, John reviewed the diagram below. To study the angle of refraction of light as it passes through the air into the water. So here is here is the light ray. And then what's happening here? Well, a normal projection. Right? This is, I think, is that what it is? Normally. I don't know what that means actually. It says normal right here. Okay, well, here's the air, and here's the water. So as the light comes down, it hits the the water, and then changes changes its angle to form this line. Okay, I think that makes sense. All right, All right. And, I mean, you've seen this in water before. When you when you're looking at something underwater, it might look like, like it's broken somehow, which is just because it's the light ref refract refracting refracting. What do they say? Refracting at a weird angle, right? Well, not that weird if you understand the angle, but it's interesting to see that. So what angles are complementary? So which angles add up to 90 degrees? And this is almost exactly like a previous problem. So there's a lot going on here. 
to, to confuse us, angle F. So if you see a question asking for a complementary angle, look for that other 90 degree angle in the picture, and it's right here. Angle, angle F adds up to 90 degrees. Well then, if I go along this line, the, the air-water line, D and C together have to also add up to 90 degrees because that's a straight line, right? 180 degrees, 90 of it is taken up by F, the other 90 has to be taken up by D and C, so they're complementary to each other. Angle, and they give us D and C. And then they say, well, could you find another pair? Okay, so let's look at this. What do you see? Well, here, this line and this line are forming to form, to, to, to match up another pair of vertical angles. Right, but here they're both going to be 90 degrees, so those are supplementary. But does that help us? Yes, because if B equals 90, since it's a vertical angle with F, then B plus H, and, and since B and H and G add up to this full 180 degrees, well, then G and H have to also be 90 degrees and complementary to each other because B is 90. Right? And since B plus H plus G has to equal 180, G and H have to also equal 90 degrees and be complementary to each other. So I would also say G and H are complementary to each other. Okay, in which diagram are angles 1 and 2 supplementary? Well, here they're vertical angles, so that's, that's out. Here 1 and 2, looks like they add to a, a 90 degree angle. That's complementary. Keep going. Um, here, angle 1 and 2. Well, 1 is equal to this angle, and this is equal to this, it's equal to this angle, excuse me. So 1 and 2 are actually equal here, and I'll talk about that in other videos. And the only other choice left is D, and that makes sense because we have this line formed by these two angles, and every line has, to, has 180 degrees, so 1 and 2 have to add up to 180 degrees. And the answer to the first prop, this problem right here is D. Michael drew the, the diagram below. Which angle is complementary to X? So in other words, which angle here plus X, mystery angle plus angle X, have to add up to what? Well, they're complementary, so they have to add up to 90 degrees. And I, and I think that um, the answer for me would be P. Because we have this line right here. And that means that this line has 180 degrees. And since there's a right angle right here, I can figure out that P and X have to also equal 90 degrees. Because, again, the straight line has 180. So if 90 is taken up by this angle, then P and X have to also equal 90 so together, 90 and the, the 90 shared between P and X and its other 90 degrees add up to 100. Excuse me, add up to 90 degrees all altogether. So P and X have to be complementary so that, that we can get that supplementary connection between these three angles and form the straight line. So I'd say P and X are complementary. Okay, Bryce drew the four angles shown below. Which pair of angles are complementary, which are supplementary, on the lines below explained? Well, I'm going to explain by talking, but here you're looking for the, the pair of angles that add up to 90 degrees and the pair that add up to 180. And there's nothing wrong with writing that down just to keep track. Well, what is 59 plus 119? Well, what's 119 plus 60? Well, that's 189, right? Let's just check that for a moment. 119 plus 60, well, 120 plus, sorry, 120 plus 60 is 180. So this has got to equal 179 degrees. And what? Well, that's still a little bit, that's not, these are not supplementary, right? 59 and, and 119 do not add up to 180. Well, what about 119 and 61 degrees? Well, yeah, because 119 and 60 was 179. So if I had 119 plus 61, 
Well, that have to equal 180. So angle B and C add up to 180. So they're supplementary. Angle B and angle C. And then 31 and 59, that's 90. So A and B are complementary to each other. A and, angle A and angle D, excuse me, are complementary to each other. They add up to 90 degrees. Any other combinations, D and C are not complementary or supplementary to each other. And then B and D are not complementary or supplementary to each other. And that's because they don't add up to 90 or 180. And you could explain that process here. Alright, well, there's a lot of angle measurement and cover in this video. Check other videos as well because we will go over the reason about why a lot of this works. How do we figure out the stuff with the transversal? Just to keep your eyes out for those videos. Thanks.